If you get, I mean, I think I read that, like, a big chunk of ice, uh, fell off one of the ice, uh, what do you call them? Caps. Ice caps. Something like, the th I think they said it's the size of the Empire State Building or something. Right. It, it snapped off and went into the water and it's melted. And they said, oh, it's bad news, you know, that, that something that size is melting. But the way I look at it, if something that size falls into the water, it's like a big ice cube and it's gonna freeze it up again. You, you with me? Not right. really, Go on. Go on. Right, you get a giant ice cube yeah. the size of the Empire State Building, yeah. stick it in the water, yeah. it's gonna make, uh, that, it's gonna stick back on again, isn't it? Well, no, uh, only on if on it again. freezes up again. Yeah, well, it will freeze this... up. The water's well, gonna get but... cold again because you've just put a giant ice cube in the water. Well, so when you put <laughs> when you put an ice cube in a drink, the drink doesn't freeze, does it? No, the ice melts. Not, if you put one the size of an Empire State Building in your glass of Jack Daniels, it's gonna make it freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going in a glass of Jack Daniels. It's going in the ocean. I know, but I'm, that, you see, that I'm using my fables. Imagine a <laughs> world. <laughs> Use your brain instead. <laughs> this is a bit of a bigger issue. We're always making more and more stuff, right, um, in the world, you know, big buildings, big planes, mm -hmm. big boats and that. Will we ever get to a point where all this is too heavy for the world to handle? Right, what errors he made there, Steve? <laughs> what physical, scientific error has he made there with that question? I can't, I can't begin to explain it. Carl, we're not getting the rocks from other planets, it's already here. It's like having a, a, it's like having, um, a big pile of books in a room and then moving them over to the other side of the room and build a thing going, oh, can the room take it? I'm building a lot of things out of these books. What about, what about plastic? Where's that come from? Other chemicals that existed on the planet. Yeah. Do you see, do, do you see the point? Hang on a minute, though. What about a little tree? You plant that as an acorn, it grows, right? That's bigger, that's more stuff. Yeah. Don't listen to him, Carl. He's patronising you. What about you. acorns and that, though? Right. They they take they grow from minerals and proteins already in our atmosphere or in our um, the mass of Earth. What about a cat, Carl? Right, you get it. It's a very tiny kitten, but it grows up and it's bigger. Carl, he's he's doing it on purpose. Elephants. 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 They they're very small to begin with, but they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so they get heavier and heavier. Mind you, dinosaurs have gone. You know, but you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um. The, 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 these are milestones in human evolution. The opposable form, the, the forward-facing eyes, the upright. The, these are these are massive things in in taking us out of the animal kingdom. And uh, one day, Carl, you'll walk upright. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you mean about eyes facing forward? You mean before we got here, there was people who, uh, whose eyes were looking in their head? <laughs> I don't understand. Is that what you? No, mean? no, because when we got a sort of uh, uh, binocular vision. Do you, know, do you know Anne Frank? That's all, all I know about Anne is, there's no point pretending here. Anne! That I know <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Right, um. Well, just, tell us everything you know about Anne Frank. Uh, she was in a cupboard. <laughs> yeah, what else? If she didn't do that, I wouldn't know about her, seriously. <laughs> That's all I know about her. Yeah. So what did she do? But what well, do you, how do you think we know, we, know, we know about, we know about her cupboard because of her book, don't we? But hang on, what, what, in the bigger scheme of things, why was she in a cupboard? I, I, I don't know. Right. I honestly don't know. You don't know anything else about Anne Frank beyond the fact that, to quote you, <laughs> she was in a cupboard. Well, what's she done then? You tell me, why should I know more about Firstly, her? Firstly, I don't think she was in a cupboard. <laughs> she wasn't in a cupboard. She was in an attic. Alright. Yeah. So yeah. what was she doing? She was hiding from the Tidy Nazis. Nuts. <laughs> she was hiding from the Nazis. Well, isn't that the first place they'd look, sort of? <laughs> <laughs> work, work from the top down. <laughs> Oh, they weren't specifically looking for Anne Frank. <laughs> they weren't going, where is she? Where's Frank? If she gets that book out, we're in the deep <laughs> shit. We've got to stop the book. And then we went, went and had a look at the volcanoes and that. They've got 36 of them to look at. <laughs> How many did you look at before you realised that you've, you know, pretty much, you've seen one volcano, you've seen them all? Probably about six or seven. Really? And yeah. then when you got to the eight, you thought, no, I know what this is going to be, Suzanne. This is going to be like a mountain with a hole in the top. Yeah. Really? But it happened years ago as well. It's like, just keep a couple, fill the rest in, tidy it up. <laughs> fill the oh. rest in! Yeah, no, yeah. While getting some builders. No, seriously, though. Okay, four million trap. tons of concrete, please. They're an absolute death trap. Yeah, what, yeah. What do you mean, fill them in? Do you know what a volcano is? 
just a hole, isn't it? That's happened. Well, it's more than a hole. It's more a portal to the magma in the centre of the earth. Back in 1730 it happened, and they still haven't sorted it out. Well, when you say it happened, volcanoes were made a lot longer no, ago no, no, than no. 1730. No, but, but the one that did Lanzarote in. Right. Sort it out. <laughs> what do you suggest? We'll How can they fill it in? It's joined. It's all joined. No, but what I'm and saying the, is, uh, it was the a, big it was, plates of the earth are all joined. It was all the magma's disaster, joined. With the with the trade centre thing that happened, they cleaned it up, sorted it out, they've moved on. That's what I'm saying. Whereas Lanzarote have just gone, leave it. <laughs> it happened back in no, 1730. You misunderstand me. How in the name of God can you fill in a volcano? You ignorant. Twit. No, but it's not just the the holes. They've actually left the lava everywhere. That's what I mean. It's not just the big holes, there's lava everywhere. But it's m molten rock. They can't just p pick it up like they're like a carpet. Put it in the holes, the holes are there ready, just push it all in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what ah! I'm saying. You know, like the monkeys uh, peeling potatoes. Right. That's never <laughs> happened. They go and put nuts in the salt water to, to salt the nut. Whatever. How does that how does that get to peeling potatoes? But, uh, because in your head they were working in a canteen. Making chips. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter what the food is. I'm just saying how they know how to sort of prepare. I that love food. the fact that you don't care what the fact is. When you're discussing facts, that's all that matters. Otherwise on Mastermind, they just go, um, uh, who wrote Much Ado About Nothing? Dickens? Yeah, close enough, whatever someone did. It, the fact is the, what matters. Yeah, but with that question, that's got a straightforward answer. What I'm telling you is the way that animals work. If it's a potato or a nut, it's a foodage. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, I return you to my question as to what. What's your point? What were you? What point were you making? It's either a, a chimpanzee with a typewriter with an infinite amount of time. He would eventually, by definition, mathematically, type everything ever possible. Okay, or it's an infinite amount of um, uh, chimps with typewriters, and one of them will type it first time. But already, that's that's sort of that's not right. You either need to have. What do you mean? What? What? You mean the, Let, uh, let's employment hear laws? What do you mean? It's not right. Let's hear him out, please. Okay. If it's one monkey, <laughs> yeah, with a typewriter that's got loads of ink in it and that, right? At least it knows what it's done in the past. Don't. It's not. Keep going. Crying. If you've got a load of monkeys, it's like it's like if you have too many. What's that saying about too many chefs? Too many spoil chimps spoil the soup. Right. Well, it's the same thing. It's like, well, I, I didn't tell you to put salt in it. I was going to put salt in it, and it messes it up. Whereas if it's just one. They know what's gone on. So what I'm saying I, I, is, honestly, just leave him go. I can't be bothered. I want to hear. I want uh, to hear it, the rest. This blows my mind. He doesn't know what this does to me. It's a mathematical problem. I want to hear the rest. Well, it's just I just don't think it will happen. What I mean, do you mean you don't think it'll happen? Infinity works it out for you by definition. But not, not Shakespeare. Oh, shut up, you, you know, idiot! Rick, do you know what he said to me? I said to him. Uh, I just explained it to him, I said, God. you've got an infinite number of monkeys, infinite number of typewriters, they will e type the complete works of Shakespeare. He yeah. said, have they read Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot! Play I record, said, no, I'm not having this conversation. Not it. When are the exams? June? Something like that, yeah. We're registered, we're trying to register next week, and I reckon you can get an A or B. I'm in busy, history. I'm in busy. history. No, I'm don't worry about it, it's just easy. You get your Brody's notes. If Heat, Heat magazine, they, 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 they love you, Carl. They could probably sort some out. They could probably pay for a tutor. They got a lot of money. They sell a lot of magazines. I mean, it is always, almost always, and you found that out. I discovered this. It's always the tutors and stewards. There's no fear for that. They're not coming up. Now, what do you know? What do you already know about them? You must know already know stuff about Henry VIII and Elizabeth. No, because it just—he's too long ago to even get interested in. Do you know what I mean? You can't. Is that why you did it? Okay. You, the Anderson thing. It was like, God, you know. I bet my mum and dad were in an Anderson shelter. You know, this is interesting. What, when they... Oh, my granddad would have, like, had something to do with this. <laughs> but the Tudors, it's like, I don't know even if they had a family back then. God! Ha 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 record! Is that it? Is that the answer? Yeah, just cavemen in front of dinosaurs and that. This sort of went, oh. <laughs> and then... Well, it wasn't cavemen in front of dinosaurs, was it? Because cavemen weren't alive when dinosaurs were alive. There was a couple knocking about. Right, okay, fair enough. There was, there was a crossover point, surely. Uh. No.
Not for just, just like your 15 not. million. Um, was the, uh, yeah, probably the, uh, yeah, the Ice Age, they were still, they were no. still big reptiles. I think it's fairly common knowledge that the dinosaurs did not exist. Well, who gave the dinosaurs a name? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> who gave the dinosaurs no, the names? He's... Hang on. <laughs> Here's something I've learnt, remember? Go on. About to, like, show four or whatever. Go on. What show is it? Show four? The flea can jump over the London Eye. No! No, it yeah. can jump the equivalent of if it was a six foot man. It can jump about six years high. A flea cannot jump over the London Eye. Y yes, it can. Yeah, it can. And <laughs> tell, you, tell, tell your kids that. Can't. Oh, well, remember. Oh, a flea can jump over the London Eye. And an ant can lift three Volvos. <laughs> 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 <laughs>